All right, hey Taurus, so I'm doing a quick love check-in for the person on your mind and heart space. I'm going to pull mutual energy first and clarify the oracle cards that come through, and then I'm going to pull your energy and how you feel about the connection. So if that doesn't resonate, check your other placements, you guys. And um, if you're new, welcome. I do hope that you'll subscribe if you like my energy. So here's what's coming through. This is a mutual shared energy. We have messages from spirit and past life relationship. So you guys can have a deep soul bond, okay? Like no questions, no doubts about it. And I feel like messages from spirit is probably most likely both you and this person um, kind of manifesting the connection. It's kind of knowing what the connection is about, but also seeing, you know, dolphins, feathers, uh, angel numbers out the yin, you know, out the yang, whatever, you, however you say it. I just really feel like, you know, there's a lot of synchronicities that are lining up between you and this person. And that could be confirmed or unconfirmed energy. All right. So maybe you guys do talk about it. Maybe you don't talk about it. Maybe they're sending messages at certain, you know, times and it's coincidence or not a coincidence. So I really feel like you guys, um, and, and two, it could be too that you're getting messages in dreams or um, meditated, med meditation um, state of mind. All right. And that could be mutual. It could be you. It could be them. Okay. So that's just what I see as mutual energy. So I'm just going to clarify this a little bit. <clears throat> and we have that moon card showing up. All right. So we have the moon as far as mutual energy, the ace of wands, and then we have the seven of wands. So I really feel like with the moon card coming through, you know, that could be a depiction of, you know, maybe um, not a lot of action, not a lot of talk right now. I feel like the moon card is just more of a silence um, for right now. And it could just be too that there's just not a lot of action taking place in this connection at the moment. Okay, but I feel like there is a desired new beginning here. And with the seven of wands, you guys. When I see that card, it's like really holding space for one another. It's like there is really no one actively, um, you know, in your life or their life. Um, but for whatever reasons, it's like it's not merging together. So you guys could have a really deep um, spiritual soul connection, twin flame connection that you're coming through here. And there's going to be that alignment phase. And that could be why this is uh, <laughs> not really growing together at this moment. It doesn't mean it won't. Okay, so I'm going to pull these cards and we're just going to get your energy. And then we'll dive a little bit deeper. So your energy, Taurus. All right, we got the Two of Cups coming through. Um, two of Cups, it comes through in reverse. Okay, so um, when it comes through in reverse, I just really feel, again, kind of lining up with that moon energy. It's like not a lot of heavy, um, it's not a lot of deep conversation right now. You could be going through a lot right now, too, with the Seven of Swords. Feeling like you're not really sure where you're kind of fitting in with this connection with people with anything right now. All right. And it could just be too that you you do feel very deeply towards this connection, but you're not about to get hurt. You don't want to get hurt right now. Um, the sun card and the page of wands also these cards, you guys, I don't typically read reversals, but they all came in reverse. So your energy could be pretty feeling pretty low right now, pretty stagnant, limiting beliefs, um, you know, kind of feeling stuck. Not really sure how to handle this connection. Maybe you feel like it is a spiritual connection, but maybe you question that spiritual connection. Um, and with the sun card coming through in reverse, it's just, I really feel like your energy is just not, and you're not in the best of spirits, but you have this beautiful thing. But it, it could be too that you're kind of questioning yourself um, about how is this all going to come about and how how are we able to make this work? Or, you know, maybe just you're in a funk and you need to get out of that funk so that you can be in alignment with this. Um, you know, that's not going to be for everybody. You know, I, 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 it's like there is this. And the reason why I flipped them in the upright is because this is the end all be all. This is the goal. But right now, maybe you just can't see it. OK, how you feel about this connection, how you feel about the connection. So we have the Ace of Swords showing up the three of pentacles and the seven of pentacles. So it's like you really want things to shape, um, to mold, to grow. Okay. We have the three of pentacles. I look at this as building from the, the ground up, you know, friendship, and then, you know, developing deeper and deeper, you know, that bond. Um, and I really feel like on those, those, those deeper journeys, they are meant to heal. They're meant to, you know, repair, they're meant to grow. And with the ace of swords, it's all about the new beginning. It's the win. It's the victory. It's taking action. Um, it's a very ambitious card to have that, that end in sight, you know, and the end is the win. So I really feel like you can see big things here. I really feel like you, you take very, a lot of comfort in this connection. You have a lot of comfort in this connection, but you could just be dealing with um, things external of this connection that has kind of put you in some lower, um, you know, dank energy. So let's just see who this person is. 
who this person is. What do we have? We got Taurus energy coming through with the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus Aries. We have the Judgment card coming through, which is Virgo energy. And then we have the Knight of Cups is Scorpio and Libra. So as far as this person's energy, um, this could be a connection that goes back time you guys um you know judgment card is look at angels of the past past life relationship um so you know it's it, even if you guys um, haven't known each other for very long in the here and the now um it's like the instantaneous connection and judgment card right here i feel like you have dealt with this person and and it could be so, uh, there could be some time that sits between um how long you and this person have known each other all right, with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles coming through as far as their energy, it's like they really, this right here is like, it's gracious energy, you guys. Judgment card is all about changing. It's growing. It's releasing the past and just moving forward. And I really feel like there's a balance here between the water and earth scenario. All right. Um, I just feel like it's balanced and you could be dealing with water, earth. We have the emperor card coming through that soulmate vibe, soulmate energy right there. Um, you know, that's Aries also. So I just really feel like you guys... <sighs> It's like really taking a methodical approach to this connection. So if you go slow, they're definitely going to go slow. When you when you um, come in, they're going to respond. You know, I feel like this person is just present right now. So let's just see um, how they feel about the connection. How this person feels about the connection. We have the Ace of Cups. All right, that is new beginnings. New beginnings when it comes to love. Look at that, the wish fulfillment. You got the eight of wands coming through, which is a need or having a desire for communication. Um, I really feel like this person is very attracted to you and your spirit. I feel like you make this person feel very attractive in nature. The king of wands coming through right here. I'm going to put it back in the deck, but I just really feel like as far as this person and their feelings, um, you know, I feel like this person is uh, able to be... Um, it's like they're 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 able to be really comfortable in their skin when it comes to you. It's like they're stepping into their authenticity when it comes to you. And there's a lot of gratitude that goes out to you. I just really feel like you make this person feel really, really good. So um, let's just, I want to confirm that. You guys having your tower moments. All right. Maybe driving each other crazy a little bit. We have the Ten of Swords coming through. All right. As, as far as how you make this person feel, we got the Empress card. So we have Emperor and Empress showing up. But look, at it's like as far as how you make them feel, it's like I went through everything that I went through and it was worth it because it brought me to you. All right. It's like cutting those cords, cutting. It's like what passed, you know, because all I see right here is you. Um, I really I love that energy. So let's just see what their intentions are with you. Their intentions, we have the page of pentacles. Look at that. That is growing and learning. It's rebuilding from the past. All right. But putting ourselves in a position of new, this is also manifesting. Um, it's a manifesting card. So look at self-care, self-love. Let me nurture. Let me be compassionate. Let me show you what it means to care, um, you know, and to nurture and to help grow. With the Knight of Swords coming through, it's uh, action-oriented. This right here is being ambitious. It's it's like taking the lead, taking the dynamic and winning. All right. I just feel like they're saying, I really want to be successful with you. I want to grow with you. I want to, you know, manifest abundant opportunities while still being in this emotional um love filled dynamic i love the queen of cups um showing up here so let's just see what's happening next the next move coming through for you guys the next 30 to 45 days what do we have all right so if there's been some stagnant growth you guys that's going to resolve especially with you Taurus. you might just be feeling like you're not really quite sure where you sit at um, with this person, it could just be too that you have unresolved other things going on that you got to take care of before, you know, you can completely pour your heart into this. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. We have the page of cups. So, you know, I don't see marriage right here in the next 30 to 45 days, but definitely some communication, some talking, you know, with the two of wands or the two of um, pentacles. It could just be that when things like that's to me is a, a settling card. There's a lot going on and things need to settle. But you have the six of cups coming through, too. So, you know, where there's been out energy, it's definitely going to come back in. I feel like you guys carry a very, very warm vibration between you and them. All right, so let's just get some messages from this person and then we'll pull some initials. This is going to be one of those reads where it's like maybe you guys don't know where you sit with this person, but you know what? If you know the dynamic and you know it's um, deeper than any other bond that you've had, it's one that calls for patience for sure. So let's just see what this person's got for you. 
What do they got? I'm going to pull that one out. Wow. Okay. We got, I wish we could go back. So maybe at one point in time, things were really, really positive and flowing. I miss seeing you. And I still, I still have feelings for you. All right. So if you guys have kind of, you know, I'm not going to say fallen out of the dynamic, but if there's just really been like, I don't know what's coming next. I don't know what's happening next. I feel like patience is the biggest thing. And you know, in those, again, the deeper spiritual dynamics that come through here, I mean, patience is all I can say. Um, I'm sure it'll pay off in some way, shape or form. So we're going to pull some initials and then... You guys just be aware that if your initials don't show up, it's fine as long as you resonate with the cards. All right. We got R E A L and E V. Taurus, I'm going to leave it right there. You guys take care.